alone. Cody standing by with Ryan Eldridge from Nerds on Call, learning a few tips. Just saying, if something happened to me, I would call Ken right now and say, Ken, please delete uh, the uh, clownsforcongress.com website that I was looking at. This guy in South Carolina is running for Congress. I don't want that to be the last thing that people think of. They're me. like, oh, look at he was yeah. looking at just before that massive heart. And anyway, <laughs> so let's talk about online privacy because okay. it's a big thing in the news now. Facebook is obviously in a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. Everybody's saying delete Facebook. So we wanted to look into a little deeper into what is online privacy. So did you know that every time you type in a web address, whether it's your phone or your computer or your tablet or whatever, did you know that it first goes to your ISP mm -hmm. and your ISP then sends it to the internet and it comes back? Right. Well, these guys know literally everything. everything. Oh. All those bad little dirty secrets. These guys know it all. So that's first. You can't get away from these guys, but I, I have a little secret at the end. I'll show you how to okay, get away from okay. it. But they're tracking everything. When you're on your phone, it's tracking your location, the apps you use. Sometimes apps you're not even using that you installed like back in 2007 that's uh -huh. still on your phone, they're still tracking you. So yeah. keep that in mind. Every browser you use tracks you, sends that data to different advertisers and things. So yeah, even they're against you. And of course, Facebook, dun, dun, dun. Uh -huh. Facebook, of course, is tracking your connections to your friends, your family, posts you look at. But something that not everybody knows is they're tracking all of your behavior while you're online. So whether you go to different websites, different places you go, if they have a Facebook pixel, it's tracking you too. I went to my Facebook profile and I saw all of these apps that I had no idea were on Facebook. I'm gonna give you a closer shot here. These, all these apps are connected to my Facebook page and I had no idea they were there. And so you can go in there, just click on app settings in the general section and you can remove anything you aren't using. And then down at the bottom, look at this. This is pretty cool. Apps that others use that are sharing your information, you can go in there and edit and opt out of those. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah, Say okay. goodbye, Cambridge Analytica, right uh -huh. there. That's okay. how you fix it. That's okay. how you do it, okay. But anybody who uses Google, I got bad news for you. They know everything about you too. Go to this web address. Now we're gonna have this in the show notes. Okay. But you're gonna wanna go to this web address and you're gonna freak out when you see this. Google, there was a C CNBC uh, um, anchor that uh -huh. went there and this is what they found out is they knew everything. They knew his name, his gender, his birth date, his personal cell phone numbers, his recent Google searches, websites he's visited. They knew things, all of the things that he's interested in, these are all, this is how they were targeting for advertising. Ah. Jazz, computers, fast food. They knew article. where he was when he connected to Google, when he's searching his, Ooh. searching on the web. Okay, that's creepy. He, they also had things that, uh, what was this one? This is the, all of his Google activity. In fact, this, if you look right here, see, this is him talking to his Google uh, <laughs> assistant, right? That's pretty crazy. All of his YouTube videos. Wow. So obviously he likes a lot of Skyrim. Uh -huh. Or you can go to my account in Google, and this is myaccount.google.com. You can go in here and do a privacy checkup and turn off a bunch of settings so okay. they're not tracking you. Well, they're, let me tell you this again. They're always tracking you. Yeah. But you so can turn off some of the ads. Okay. It's ultimately what it is. You can also go to ad choices. We've all seen this little symbol when we see those ads online. This is optout.aboutads.info. Okay. And it'll check to see which, which lists you're on and it'll opt you out of them. <coughs> now there's a, currently a, uh, a new bill that's, that's uh, it's California Consumer Privacy Bill that's out right now, and uh, Zach B reported on this just a couple of days ago. This bill is being opposed. If you go to the Secretary of State, you can see who's opposing this bill, and it turns out it's Facebook and Google and Verizon <laughs> and Comcast. Shocker. Now, this privacy bill is, is, did you know there's no way you can turn off all of these ads so you don't see them necessarily, uh, all the privacy stuff, but they're still tracking you. There's no way to opt out of being tracked. This bill is trying to get us so we can opt out of being tracked. Okay. And of course, the big boys are opposing it. So we should make sure that our representatives are getting our best interest, not okay. Facebook's best interest. So there's a couple other things you can do. One is you can add an ad blocker. All that does is block the ads. It doesn't stop the tracking. Okay. You can use a Tor browser. This is how you get out of your ISP. You can add a Tor uh, extension onto your browser and it'll give you free privacy. What it does is it, it kind of routes your traffic through multiple servers. Oh, so you're not being seen ah, by the ISP. Okay, okay. That's kind of nice. You can also go to DuckDuckGo instead of Google. These are all anonymous searches. So if you want to search for things and you just don't want to be tracked by Google, go to DuckDuckGo and you can, it's basically like Google. It's just not tracking you. And he's wearing a bow tie. And of course, this is the last one. This is called eBlocker. This is a little piece of equipment you can get and attach it to your router at home. It's 119 bucks by a, a British company. And what it'll do is it'll give you privacy 
uh, on everything that's searched on in your house, from your phone to your oh. computer to your tablet to everything. It's 119 bucks. They have other packages there. About 279 is, I think, their top package. But it also gives you tour browsing and all kinds of other interesting cool stuff. stuff. All that yeah. stuff's on our show information evening, right yeah. so people can check it out. At this point. I'm not even sure I, I'm who I think I am. You, you basically either have to give up convenience or give up privacy. Mm -hmm. So if you want to use a phone or the internet at all, you pretty much, they're going to watch you. Sorry, guys. Yeah, they got you. All right, back to you. All right. Thank you so much. Mm. Spying on me. Hey, don't